Um, words, words, words. Yeah. Looks like we're you've rolling. Even, you've even got my name up there. Did you see? I, I drew you a little you smiley can spell. face. I thought about spelling it wrong. You should have spelled it wrong. That would have been great. I'm I'm glad you don't have headphones because your voice is just so beautiful. Is it is it just sultry? It's yeah, it is very sultry. Somebody told me that I should that I should have that I should be on the radio, not <laughs> not like as a singer, but as a, <laughs> as a as like a radio host. And I was like, I feel like people would just fall asleep. Yeah, you should definitely. Are you like a smooth jazz guy at all? I think I'm like an NPR guy at 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I think that's me. That'd be you. You're like riding to the airport and your Uber driver's just listening to Today, President Biden. Hey, no, <laughs> but nothing political. Today, we're going to be discussing the uh, March on the Capitol and why but it's. No, we're only why doing. It was a fun time. <laughs> why are you putting that on me? Chris Allen was at the march. Why? Where were you? Why are you putting that Where on Where were you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Jeez. You just have the look. Now that you've grown your hair out, you wear an Arkansas hat backwards. You know, there you go. All right, let's let's start it, Chris. This is really we're happening. not started yet. No, we're, this is all happening. This is it. And this is the intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Impulsive. I'm Logan Paul. This is Jake Paul. <laughs> guys, welcome back to the number one podcast in the world. This is uh, the Green Couch Podcast. Is that really what it's called? This is, hence the Green. I couch. mean, I understand you have a Green Couch. I under, I can see this is a Green Couch, but I didn't know. Do you like it? Do you think I think the it's, Green Couch Podcast? Yeah. It's better than my podcast name. What's your podcast name? I don't have one, so this is better than mine. If you had one, what would you what would you call it? Oh gosh, I don't. I don't really know. I don't have one. I don't think anyone wants to hear me talk about anything for longer than, you I, know. I think all I've ever wanted day. is to hear you talk. That's not true. So, Chris, I just want to thank you so much for coming to my <laughs> household and being on this. I know this is a very sketchy scenario. <laughs> this isn't sketchy. It feels sketchy for me. Why? I just well, I've recorded a couple of these now, and I haven't done anything with them. But I'm gonna definitely now that you're here. No offense to uh, Marcio, my one other guest. Okay. But now that you're here, it feels legit. Why? Why does me being here make it more legit? Like you're legit. You are a celebrity to me. I'm not a celebrity. You you're, really are. The only reason I'm doing this is because maybe I felt like you would pump me up. You get some about exposure. myself, <laughs> and maybe it just. A little bit of exposure. Okay. But you're saying that this isn't even going to go out. No, this is definitely going out now. Oh, okay. Unless, you know, I look back at the footage and maybe I don't look as good as I thought I did or <laughs> anything like that. Do I look pretty? Thank you, Sam. Big shout out to Sam Aldrich. Uh, what up, Sam? Uh, Sam, the cameraman. He's got two cameras. This is a nice, like, there's two, like, bright lights in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two nice cameras. Two microphones got from like, 2004. They've got, like, the foamy from my dead uncle. thing in there. Is there any, is there even a mic on there, or is that just a piece of foam? It, there's, uh, that's where I keep my beer. Oh. <laughs> just the, it's like, just it's there. a koozie. That's a koozie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Allen is here, ladies and gentlemen, in my household, and he's never going to leave. It's like Hotel California. I don't think I could leave this couch. It's pretty comfy. It's a good one, right? It's a good green couch. I love green. Green's my favorite color. We, Look at these pants. They match. Yeah, dude. Oh, you blend right in. Mm -hmm. We got this couch on Facebook Marketplace from an old dental's office. Oh, nice. This was this has seen a lot of dental patients. A lot of, a lot of chronic tooth pain has been sat just where you're sitting. All right. Well... Here we are again. All right, Chris, this I'm is going to be fun. Let's start. Days. Let's start with the hazing. Okay. For those of who don't know you, uh -huh. most of our viewers, <laughs> could you could you give us a brief synopsis of just who you are, your name, age, uh, mother's maiden name, name of street you grew up on, where you're from, uh, just just introduce everyone. Yeah, or I can do it for you. No, it's good if you know all that information. I do. That's, that's, I might actually leave. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Chris Jennifer Allen. Uh, he is from Arkansas Town, Arkansas. Arkansas Town, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he, is a place called Arkansas City, but I don't actually think it's in Arkansas. Is it like the Kansas City type thing? I think it's, it's a Kansas place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in Kansas. Um, no, my name's Chris yeah. Allen. I'm 36. I know, dude. I'm the, I'm the geriatric for your viewers, probably. Thanks for imagine. hobbling over here today. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you see that? I had to like, I've got my little wheelchair out there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I'm 36. I'm from Arkansas. Um, I have a beautiful wife and three children. 
and I've already bored all the people so far. <laughs> no, dude, they're so interested. <laughs> like, I feel like I have a, a large um, uh, following of moms, and they're like, oh, okay. tell us about the kids. People want to know about the kids. They do. They're People adorable. People know about your kids. You have adorable children. I do have adorable kids. They're, they're adorable kids. beautiful, and, and I haven't seen them in a few years, probably on purpose. But I um, kept them away. One of them I've never met. No. The youngest. He's a little bit, uh, his name's Marlo, and he's a little, he's kind of a semi-pandemic baby. Yeah. Has he yeah. met more than just you guys? He is very attached to us. There's very few people that he's met. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to be weird. Yeah, yeah. He's the one that's most likely to turn out like you now. You know? The other ones are going to be well adjusted. He's way smarter than I am, so. Yeah. That seems plausible. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not hard to do. Well, I want to start things off now that everyone knows who you are that didn't. All three people in this world who don't know who you are. If you've been living on an island for the past 20 years. Wow. I want to present you with some gifts just to make you feel welcome. Okay. Um, I'm terrified. <laughs> Is it all CDs of yours? This is uh, Slot Machine Syndrome by this little known artist, Caleb Lee Hutchinson. Okay, nice. Isn't that nice? Thank you. I can't wait to listen to this for the first time. First time ever. Not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here, this is probably more important. I recorded this when I was 15 years old. And I, this is... This is actually... See, I want this. This is Country Music, an EP by Caleb Lee Hutchinson. Not even available anywhere. I just ordered a thousand CDs when I was 16 because I thought that that was something you could sell easily. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Notice the different time periods. The there's yeah, and on the back, I think there's like a year and a half between these pictures. Um, you made these recently? No, I made these. You when, made these back when you were. 16. I was sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Well, I recorded all the songs and I didn't put it out for a year because I was scared. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> I don't know. Because you I, were scared, you like went and recorded these, and it was like. Uh, I think I'm gonna sit on these. I was well. It sounded like me, and then I would go to make the graphic, and it looked like me, and I just didn't care. You waiting on a pub deal or something? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? I'm I'm new to Nashville. What's pub? What's pub deal? Also, this is not that your Arkansas hat isn't beautiful. We're Ooh, gonna get you uh, a Caleb Lee Hutchinson. This hat is nice. Available at calebleehutchinson.com. Nice. Um, dude. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Also. Um, and barcodes and everything on your stuff? Yes, Look sir. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're legit. Also, a you slot are. machine syndrome keychain, which is actually my favorite thing that I have. I don't use my own, like, merch because I'm not a psychopath, but um, <laughs> that keychain is very cool, and I stand by that. Please stop using your own merch. It's a bad look. So, if I wear my... If you walk in with a Chris I, Allen hat... <laughs> if I wore my shirt to, like, drop my kids off at school, that's not okay. It depends. Is it... Because I would, if it was, uh, if it does not have your name on it, I think it's fine. Mm. But if well, it does. It's a big Chris <laughs> Allen. Ask me what my name is. I, it's my favorite shirt, actually. Two more gifts. A slot machine syndrome Goodness, little cup. Yeah. Isn't that nice? You're going to lose money. And then, I, what is money? I've never <laughs> gained that before. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't, I wasn't on Idol when it mattered. You're and really, here's, you're really here's CLH. Caleb Lee Hutchinson. What is this? This is a pop socket. You can put it on the back of your oh. phone. Oh. I don't know. That's I've, pretty nice. You got three like kids. That. If you don't like something, just be like, here's something to play with. Yeah, I'll just I'll stick throw it on the forehead. Hey, here's a match in this. It's a frisbee for a tiny little elf. Yeah, I've got a three of those, so. Yeah. All good. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. I Thank appreciate you. that. And what did you bring for me? I... <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting to give this to you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh. oh, it's in the car. You have eight pockets in those pants. <laughs> Not one of them has a gift. Ah, I do have something. Don't read the numbers off. You want a, you want a credit oh, card? Gosh. <laughs> yeah, can I just put it? It's the, an expired credit card. Let's look at your balance. <laughs> yeah, for it's the a viewers. credit card. It's a credit. Um, speaking of money, uh, <laughs> I want to talk about um, something that made you very rich. The American Idol Live Tour 2018. 2018, yeah, yeah. Um, you were a part of this. I was. Actually, yeah, that's um, where we met. Everybody, I, I posted on my story. Uh, if anyone has any questions for Chris Allen, please let me know. Mm -hmm. And I don't even have to look this up because I read it this morning and I thought, what a great question. I'm going to use this. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Nick Fradiani, a okay. friend of ours, a friend yes. of the show, yeah, yeah. Uh, he asked, what was it like? How did you enjoy touring with us? In the year 2018. And before you answer, yeah, yeah. I just want to tell you the possible title for this podcast 
if you're cool with it, is I made Chris Allen cry. <laughs> <laughs> so the viewers want to know, everyone wants to know, just what was it like? Does, Does this, this switch, switch do anything? Yeah, it should be in the upwards position. He's falling down. Oh, no. Wait. Let me see. I guess I could make it Chris Allen broke my my microphone. I think things I think things are fine. Has it been going? Has it been going? It's fine. I'm gonna hold oh, it up. Oh snap! Yeah, I think it was. It was down, huh? <laughs> it was pretty down. You know what though? Is, are the cameras getting any audio at all? That's okay. Maybe we. It's up now. If we make subtitles, we can make. I'll just hold it up. My apologies. I didn't know that would fall. Uh, this is look. This is my first <laughs> time. Well, now I'm worried. I haven't reviewed the last footage. It's all good. Okay. So it's all good. I'll hold it up. Chris Allen just talks very quietly. S- say it again. Hey guys. So uh, <laughs> on my Instagram at Caleb Lee Music, I asked my my uh, thousands of rapidly declining followers, um, <laughs> oh do you have any questions for Chris Allen? And one of them was from Nick Fradiani, a friend of the show. Yes, um, a friend of the show. A friend of the show. Oh, nice. The fr- he I didn't know the show had friends yet. A friend of the show. Nice, that's exciting. Uh, any friend of mine is a friend of the show. Okay. Um, he asked, just what was it like touring with the top seven, turn six of... Uh, it was seven? Turn six? I thought it was eight, turn seven. No, seven, turn six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You definitely said it wrong the other day. But um, just tell us. I know it was a miserable experience for you and you made a lot of money, but why don't you just tell the viewers? <laughs> uh, so how long was that tour? It was 12 weeks, 13 weeks? It was like 48 ch- cities, wasn't it? It was a lot of cities, and we went everywhere. The routing was very interesting. I feel like we were doing zigzags through the country. Some would call it poor. Um, Chris Allen did, but no. I did. Uh, so I was asked multiple times by, I don't know why they asked me to be a mint or like a, it wasn't a mentor, like an MC or host for the show. And I, at first I was, I was like, why would, why would they ask me to do that? Like, I, that's not my forte. I'm not that guy. You're better at that than I am. I, no, I disagree. <laughs> I, I just went out there Anyways, You're so, so handsome, Chris. You could have just you didn't have to say any words. Well, it was just it was so I think on its head it was like I don't fit in this and also do I want to spend that much time away from my family? So uh they did make it worth it, which was nice. Um dollar 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 bills. <laughs> I think I I think I the moment that I got there I was like, I just these these are children. Yeah. Again, guys, Chris Allen is very old. I am 36, and I was, what, 33 at the time? Something like that. Yeah. Um, and you guys were all... No, I think Cade was the oldest. What was he, 20? 21? Maybe, maybe 21? Yeah. Maybe. Y'all were so young. Yeah, dude. And, and I just... peak ego for most of us. I'm sure, well, I'm sure no. a few other ones have had bigger sense but like i don't think so but egos were up dude we were just on national television and we all thought we were going to be superstars (laughs) you know (laughs) but i feel like i just didn't i don't know i wasn't ready to be on the road with a bunch of children (laughs) yeah yeah dude (laughs) and also i was coming into a situation so it had nothing to do with y'all like i like it, it was just the whole situation like i i was like i just don't fit in this did, are these are these kids thinking like what's this old guy doing here and why is he on stage with us talking like telling us like what what is his point in here so my mm. I went in there with a lot of like what the heck am I doing here I think I think it's sad that, that I'm sad that you had that feeling because honestly oh. I was more excited to meet you than Carrie Underwood <laughs> and I'm sorry Carrie I love you but um, I don't think you can say that in this town <laughs> I can't I, I love Carrie Underwood she's a global superstar but you're Chris she Allen is. Yeah, well, I, I can't call you means. Chris because you're Chris Allen. Dude. That is true. It really it's rolls off name. the tongue. It does. Yeah. And um, no, like I was so stoked. I will say though, um, having you on that tour, I feel like after after some time you warmed up to us a bit. I did. Yeah, yeah. But for sure, in the beginning, I was like, "Why is Chris Allen a global superstar acting so shy?" <laughs> Let me ask you this. Well, I am shy. Like that's my that's my like go to is I am pretty shy initially. 
So it does take me a while to warm up to people. It's BS because I, I, you, you enrage me. Um, you make me really angry, murderous even because <laughs> you are so like I. This is the only reason I did this. How do I way. say this in a nice way? It's because I know you're gonna. No, I'm gonna take you down a peg. You're good. Good, um, please. I want you to. Chris, you're short, and also <laughs> that. Um, and also yes, that's true. And also, because I'm talking. So, I'll, and also, I'll stop. <laughs> catch a bubble. You are so funny. And okay. I recently saw you at a at a writer's round in town mm. in Nashville, Tennessee. And you're hilarious. You're like the funniest. <laughs> Coming from someone who's obviously very funny. You and, are really funny. Uh, you are just, you're so hilarious. I mean, you're a good singer. You're all right. But like you're the, the humor, dude. And I was watching that going, where was this? During that tour, I don't think I don't feel like I was you allowed. Were comfortable, man. Yeah, you I, know, I feel I've just felt like I don't want to get in anybody's way. I'm going to come up there and do my thing. So it was just it was very interesting, and it, I'm sure I came off as maybe a little bit jerkish yeah. at first. You don't have to agree oh, to that. So so easily, Caleb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all were probably like, "What is this guy doing here?" And he's rude. <laughs> like, cool. Yeah. Um. No man, I I I just I was so excited to hang out with you. But I you did warm up. I warmed up to you guys, especially. I feel like the the boys. You know, like we started yeah. going to the gym. Oh, we're getting so swole. I got to see Chris Allen all sweating. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> that's gonna be the it's great. That's man. gonna be the audio takeaway. Do you know? From this. That, oh, that'd be a good title. <laughs> I got to see Chris, <laughs> Chris Allen sweating. sweating. I wasn't doing the same workouts you guys were doing though. Y'all were like trying to beef up. You were like a little. I'm trying to like vegan do some boy pull summer. And you're like, <laughs> I'm gonna do some. <laughs> I'm gonna do some sit ups and curl some five pound dumbbells and eat some yeah, quinoa. Dude. Yeah, man. I ain't trying to. I'm. I'm trying to like hold on to my strength yeah. and my physique. I was trying to hold on to anorexia, but also I was, you know, really enjoying. Y'all were getting swole. Yeah, I think I could have had such a better summer in terms of fitness had I not gained five pounds. Been like, oh, I'm looking good, and then some lady on Facebook comments like, "Shame, all your hard work's going to waste." No, that's yeah, pe- yeah, yeah. seriously. So I know you didn't watch our season of the show. Um, I d- just say you did. I did. Okay. I totally did. Chris, when it's a you guys don't know this, but when you're on a show, you watch every season ever, every episode. Once you're on it, oh yeah, you, it's you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a there's a viewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we all watch. <laughs> we all together. we all meet up. Um, <laughs> no, I yeah. So anyway, for those of you like Chris Allen who didn't know this, I started out the my season a hefty boy, and I lost. Um, just on the show, I lost 80 pounds. Are you, I didn't know that. I knew you had lost weight during yeah, yeah, the show, yeah. but I don't think I knew that you lost that much weight. I was like 315 at my heaviest weight okay. in high school. Went through a lot of life changes, you could call it. Okay. And then, um, when I got on Idol, I'd already lost like 50 pounds or something. I, I think I auditioned at like 260, lighter wow. than I am now. Thanks everybody. And, um, we can tell different. Thank you. And, uh, but they were like, so what, what's new with you? And I'm like, well, I've been losing some weight. And they're like, you can lose more. What? Seriously? Yeah. There was like a whole, I mean, God bless them. They're, like you know, the show or? They had me do a fitness montage. <laughs> at, at, at one point, they they had me before before one of the, the shows, the, my like pre-singing package film thing. Yeah, yeah. was me like, they took me to a park and had me do. Like, like Rocky put, vibe? Not quite, but like you're running up the stairs. Well, here's the fun thing. I was please tell me. I was like 190, probably like okay. a pretty pretty slender, and I was yeah, not, that's that's small I was for not you. Weight lifting at all. No weights okay. were being lifted. This was your tr- only cardio and no time. food for yeah. No food, pretty much. Apple really? granola bar a day. That was my like schedule. Were you sad? Oh, devastated. Yeah, it was mm, horrible. Yeah, don't do that. But also, like you know, then people said I look cute, and I was like, I'll do more. Right, but yeah. that's for another podcast. Another, <laughs> another time. That's for my podcast. That's for your podcast. <laughs> I'm not the guest here. But anyway, they filmed me doing this, um, th- these like pull ups. But the yeah. thing was, even though I was skinny, I couldn't do any pull ups. So pull ups are hard. They had me. I just jumped up and pulled my body over the bar one time, and they like it's in s- slow motion. Yeah, they like slowed it down. So they sure. got me on there going like, oh yeah, they did. And the, the sun, <laughs> the sunlight was cast over my head. Um, 
So yeah, when so I guess <laughs> oh I say all gosh. that to say when I actually went to a gym and you were there with me. Yeah. Um, it's probably the only reason I've stuck with it was the motivation that I gave you of just seeing you and going, I can't stay skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look like this guy in 30 years when I'm his this age. This guy is so weak looking. You know? He can't even hold his own children. <laughs> no. He's so just. No, dude. I saw, this is a true story. I, how old was your daughter at that point? She was two. So Chris Allen, I remember during the tour, you were trying to open a jar of pickles. And this is a real story. This is a real story? And he couldn't get it open. And he he said to his My daughter. My memory is fading. He said, could you open this jar for me? And she said, yes, dad, dad. And she opened the pickle jar. And he said, thank you. That's a true story. I saw In that. fact, I'm pretty sure she said, yes, father. Yes, father. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at two years old. Yeah. And opened it. You know? She is a lot stronger than me, actually. Yeah. Yeah, she's a she's she's the stocky one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's our little sporty one. There you go. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So I guess let me <laughs> So Nick Nick was asking a very leading question. Yeah. Because he knew he played that writer's round. For sure. He knew that I had talked about that uh about the tour during that writer's round Thank and you, how Nick. much you guys um how much I hated y'all. I think if you could just tell this part of the story uh, so that I can make it my title. <laughs> you said, and this is on you because I didn't know this. You said I know. This, okay. That during the tour, you you wept. I did. So I don't know if you remember this. So in, we had been on the road for a long time. It was like two months at least. Felt like six years. I hadn't seen my children in a long time, but we had some days off in California. It was my uh, oldest son's birthday. And my wife and our two kids had flew out there, so I got to spend a lot of time with them, which was great. We went to Legoland. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, they had to leave. And I remember, I think it was like y'all had a sound check or something like that, and they left. I said bye, and <laughs> I was like, I have to stay here with these, with these children mm. and be on the same bus as them. And... Like I did, two yeah, for a while, and so I went to the back of the bus. I locked the door, and I I wept, wept, <laughs> I, wept. I was like, wept. it was like screaming, crying, like, why do I have to do this? Really, <laughs> it was that verbal, and like, uh, I'm sh I don't remember. I just remember like, like it was it was anger that I was still having to be on the road, and it's not because of you guys. I mean, I do like y'all, but. I miss my kids. Yeah, we were, and I hated y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta let go of these kids. You know, they're holding you back. Oh my gosh, man! You know, this uh, whole you can't you can't be this whole like I'm a family man. You're a pop star. Let it go. I know. You know, you'll see those kids in ten, twenty years. Yeah, they'll be. Fine. They'll probably be better off without me. Really. Probably. I was just gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm glad that you're accepting. That's probably about it. true. So uh, maybe I should leave more often. You're welcome here anytime. This is and tears are good for songs. Yeah, yeah. I um, wow. Did you write any good songs about missing your children and hating your company? You Absolutely. Keeping? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, that's. I would ask to hear them, but no one. No one's interested. No um, one wants to hear my songs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. There's so many songs I want to ask you about, but they're not oh, released gosh. yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you played some bangers at the uh, at that round. I did. Yeah. yeah. When's your, when are your next plans to release new new tunes? So we've got two songs kind of in the mix right now, that are in the almost done phase, which is nice. So and I don't think I played either one of those songs the other day. So I just got songs for days, baby. Should send them over. So man, I can listen. Man, man. actually, you don't send me your songs. I don't have songs. Why did you? I, you're a songwriter. You should write songs. Yeah, but budget for you know I don't record things. You have you have all the gear that you could possibly need. Just this right here. This is here. Awesome. I'll hold this guitar or I'll hold this, this mic, mic for your guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You. S it'll be good, dude. That's all you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, no, okay. I have I have a few questions that I'm trying to figure out how to how to ask. This feels weird. No, 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 no. no, okay. So, oh, Maddie submitted a question. Okay. Uh, my, my so girlfriend. we've got some winners. We got a lot of winners we got going a on. A lot dude. of winners asking questions on the here. loser Instagram. <laughs> um, Are you saying my like I'm a loser? No, I'm the loser. It's my. Oh, Instagram. that's true. Yeah, yeah. You're you're like barely. You on are the Instagram. loser. That's true. <laughs> you boomer. Um, yeah. No, so Maddie wanted to know. I don't. Maybe she was making a cliche question, mm. but I think she's actually just interested. 
what did you do before Idol? Mm. Before the world met Chris Allen yeah. and fell in love. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your life? Mm. I lived in a college town. I dropped out of college. So I was kind of like around college friends, but I didn't go to college. I was making music. I was playing shows at bars. I was playing those like three, four hour shows, making $25, 50 bucks. Um, I recorded an album that's, uh, that I try to make sure that people don't hear. Mm. And you're just giving yours out freely over here. You should have brought me one. <laughs> no, you don't want it. It's so I bad. It's so bad now. Um, it's out in the world. It's, no, I do have some, but I try to keep it in a safe somewhere so that people can't hear it. I need it. <laughs> I'll, I might find it and give it to you so you can make fun of me. Okay. Um, but, uh, I was working, I also worked at a sports store, so I was selling like bats and gloves and cleats to, you know, promising young athletes. Nice. Yeah. Like like myself. Yes. Just like me. Yes. Okay, cool. Is that what, is that what you think you are? <laughs> a promising young athlete? I think... I think, I I think your prime is over, man. If you're no, not starting, da, 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 what are no, you? No, 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 what no, no, are you trying to get into? I think I could get into anything right now. I want to box Jake Paul. Well, I could see that. I think I could. I think I could beat him if I trained hard. I've like never years. seen. I've never seen that side of you. The rage. Yeah, that part where like I think I'm gonna punch this guy. I'm gonna, like you're a yeah. you're a you're you are a like sturdy individual. Yeah, large, and you're tall. Large. Yeah, it's like, but I just can't imagine you punching somebody in the face. I could, yeah. I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> Have you ever punched someone in the face? Yeah. For really? Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just never. I, 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 I wasn't very popular. Well, that doesn't mean that you're Look, Chris, punching people in the face. For someone like you, <laughs> who you Where is this let going? Me, let me tell you something, and I'll, honestly, kind of a question. Have you, how much of your life do you think... Uh, has been directly affected by the fact that your whole life you've been uh, attractive in, in every single way. Like, do, what do you, you mean if, how much of my life If you had been... to relive your life looking, say, ugly, do you think, what do you think so it would have changed? Uh, th- do you listen, think you would have, have reached would... the heights that you had had you been less conventionally attractive? Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. What does that even mean? I just think like, you know, hot people privilege. Oh, okay. You well, live your life and people see you and they smile. And then other people that's live their I life farted. and people run the other way. And, and that's you? No. I would never say that to me. You think that's me? <laughs> I'm just wondering what the like where you're going with this comparison. I just want to. Like you're a good looking guy. Well, no. Yes. No. Stop it. I'm not Chris Allen. I'm, what does that even mean? I'm easily the ugliest guy on this couch right now. <laughs> no, so here's stupid. here's the thing. The problem with you, Chris, is you're the kind of guy who has every. You have. Nothing, Why did I do this part? Nothing is wrong with you, and it's annoying. There are plenty of things wrong with me. Other than the whole like antisocial and being a big baby and crying, I think like yeah, uh, there's nothing. Everybody loves you. The reason, too, when you were on the tour, I think a reason that people were standoffish is because they were like, if you were teleported into a tiny little tube with a Grecian god, it's like, what do you even say? You know? <laughs> and you would change you would change your shirt, and I'd be like, jackass. This guy. You're so stupid. It's, it was annoying. Well, there are plenty of things wrong with me. Well, it's all insecurity is what it is. Do you think? <laughs> yes. Do you think you're, uh, do you actually consider yourself to be an insecure person? Absolutely. Do you think that that has or ever has uh, hindered your life, career? Absolutely. Really? Self-promotion is my least favorite thing in the world, and that is where the, like, that's where, you know, the business has gone. Like, you have to be good at promoting your own stuff. Yeah. And I am the worst at it. I was just reading a uh, Maddie Poppy interview, um... Where, like she was talking about it, the the like you can't, no one can just be a musician today. You have to be an influencer. You have to be all of it. You kind of got because again, you're old, so you kind of got to see. I feel that that happen, the shift. Cause oh I, yeah, I feel like you know back in back in the olden days um, <laughs> when you were starting out in the '90s, um, 
You know, like you didn't have to have Instagram or Facebook. Was I mean, you had MySpace. I did. I did have a MySpace in college. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, was that? I don't think that affected much at that. We time. didn't have to do much on there. It was just like you. It was a place to like house your songs and for people to find them. Yeah. It was a. It felt very innocent. Yeah, I got. I got to see the the farthest. I got to see that end. You got to see MySpace end. I was on. Yeah, yeah. I got like a year of relevant MySpace. I mean, I was like seven or eight. It, it, when I would get a a play mm. on MySpace. I mean, I would like, I would, I was calling friends like, I, somebody listen to my song. Damn. And it wasn't like a friend. It was like somebody random finding the song. So do you think with, with social media now as it stands for, for musicians, yeah, not yeah. any other kind of creators, not elite podcasters such as myself, but right. actual musicians, do you think it has more hindered and hurt or helped? I have no idea. Overall. I think it's probably case by case. I think for me, like... For me, it's someone that doesn't feel like that they're very good at it, mm -hmm. at least on a daily basis, like it's almost it just being there is a is a hindrance because I feel like I'm supposed to do something with it. Mm -hmm. It's always there, and it's like, should I be posting today? But what if I post something stupid? Like, what oh. if you know what I mean? So, so my and I told you this the other day. It's like I just had to be done with it, yeah, which is great. And I feel I feel like a like a weight lifted and that makes me feel like I can put more time into making music and being better at my craft. Mm. And I like that. I really, I like your promotion, your video uh, where you had yourself locked in the trunk. Yeah. Yeah. That was really creative. I, I thought that. of that because I wasn't on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Just took the pressure off. Yeah. It was like, why don't you do the stupidest thing and even when I sent it to the guy, he was like, this is a little bit too serious. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie saw it, sent it to me, and said, is Chris okay? <laughs> right. And I said, I think, I think for once he is. And that's what he said. He was like, I feel like it, you did too good of a job, maybe, of yeah, like yeah, yeah, scaring yeah. me. It was very like American Psycho. And so he, he had the idea, the guy that runs my social media, shout out to Kale. Um, he was like, "Why don't you put like some funny music behind it?" And I was mm. like, "Cool, I can do that." That's beautiful. So you edited that yourself, then? I do. I I have gotten into that over the past couple of years of like doing my own graphics and doing my own like video editing and stuff like that. Nice. Well, let's let's jump into something really happy. What would let's you say <laughs> your biggest regrets are uh, professionally? Do you? Oh do my you, gosh! Do you look back at your life. This is really a tell all. As right someone now. with crippling fear of everything. Yes, what, that's true. Um, I mean, like, I, I, I'm just curious, like this this whole insecurity thing. Yeah. As a as a as a Chris Allen fan, as an Allenator, as an Allen head, um, as a as a Chris. <laughs> Keep Allen, on trying. <laughs> the Chris, a member of the Chris Allen army, mm. even. Um, you just exude like confidence. Oh, interesting. I think so. I mean, like, you know, you were like, I could tell, like, oh, quiet, smiley guy. But I, you said something at, at the round the other night about how like you weren't like a jock. You're kind of like, kind of a jock, but kind of a. Nerd. I said a jock and a dork. A dork, yeah. Because I was, I grew, grew up playing baseball, and also grew up being in orchestra. Chris, it just doesn't make any sense. I know. You're just, no. My life doesn't make any sense. Dude. No, I, I, mean, I feel like I'm living the Truman Show over here. Just, I think it's just. Have you seen that movie? Is that too? Uh, you haven't I seen wasn't that movie. Alive. <laughs> I don't. Know you when are. did that come out? <laughs> I don't even know. It's one of the greatest movies, actually. Have you? Do you know about it? The Truman Show. Yeah. You've never seen it. It's Jim Carrey. Do you know who that is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know yeah, who Jim yeah, Carrey yeah, is, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I know <laughs> who Jim so Carrey stupid. is. I've seen The Grinch. Oh my god! Come on, I've seen the classics. Dude. No, let me ask you this. Um, the reason I, I asked such a, an invasive question is I think for me personally, and I've had talks with people about this, my fear with Instagram, with making anything, is that in five years I will look back and regret it and think it's stupid and hate everything about it. Yeah, absolutely. And it seems like you're kind of relating to that a bit. I think... Yeah. Do you Did you have anything that you put out or did um, that you look back and were like, Cringe. I, I hate that. Do you, even any like performances, songs, Instagram posts. Instagram what do you posts. hate the most that you've done? I can share. Um, if it helps. One of the <laughs> you can help me with this. Yeah, dude. 
Uh, people always ask me the stuff that like maybe I wish I would have done differently on the show, and I honestly feel pretty good about. It. I mean, I wish I was better while I was on the show because I do think that I've gotten better. So I go back and listen. I'm like, oh, that was like I just didn't sound that great. Um, but I don't know if I have any like song things that I wish I would have done differently, like on the show. When it comes to records and things like that, um, I feel like my second record, I, I wish I would have stuck with my gut and pushed for the first single that I thought should have been the first single. Yeah, that's a regret. Like I gave in to the record label and they missed the boat. Did you have which is all good? Did you have a lot of uh, any kind of experience where you felt like, whether it was a label or whatever, they wanted you to be like something you didn't want to be? Absolutely, yeah. They I want mean, you to be a pop star. Yeah, they did. Did you not want to be a pop star? I did not. They wanted me to be like Enrique Iglesias or something like that. Mm. And so the first single on that second record was very much like a, like a. And I was like, "This is not." Yeah, you. No, what that's we your want energy, to do dude. is it's it is right party songs. <laughs> but I also was at the point where I didn't, I hadn't quite figured it out yet yeah. either. So I was like fighting for something that I didn't know what that something exactly was. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I couldn't. I didn't have a lot of legs to stand on as far as like sticking up for myself, even though that song that we that was on my second out second record I wish it was a first single is still a big deal yeah. in other countries and things like that so I like, was right is there a, a country <laughs> out there where you're like they're, they're Justin Bieber I don't I know like, that uh, when Chris Allen goes to Colombia <laughs> let me tell you roll I, out the red carpet I do know that like in Brazil just Brazilians like love music so I, I feel like it does a, everything that I do does pretty well out there so for sh- but also like uh places in asia like uh singapore the philippines dude, the philippines that's a they love idols dude they love idols and and so anything that i still from na- like do now it like shoots yeah to the top of whatever chart that they have so that's nice that's pretty cool that's cool yeah yeah i, I like still haven't a, been there that's in the a thing, long time man. at least I'd love to become a mega celebrity in a really obscure country. Right. Get to go there and be the king and then come back here and go to Walmart and no one look at you. How nice would that be? That would be pretty nice. Wow, man. All right, let me ask you. Um, this is this is an interesting topic. You said you had you had, you had regrets for oh, me. Oh, many stories. About me? Oh, for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things you should not have done. Well, let me tell you, I... Please tell me so my, my security in myself and my confidence can just go even further down. This isn't a you thing, but this is related to you. When uh, initially for the tour, they sent me and me and Cade um, play guitar on pretty much everybody's stuff Yeah. for no extra pay. And um, <laughs> not that I'd want any of that, of course. <laughs> Who I'm wants just, that? I'm just happy to be here. Who wants that? <laughs> but... um. They sent us, they said, hey, you're going to play uh, with Chris, on Chris Allen's set. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, amazing. And they said, um, you're going to play Live Like We're Dying. Yeah. But they said, Live Like We're Dying. I was Live. like, like like the, the like Tim McGraw. Mm-hmm. So I was very confused. Yeah, so were other people when I put out that song. Like, that seems like initially. a really weird. Uh, let me uh, ask. Oh, here's one. Okay, and we can cut this if this is like a sensitive thing. Okay. D- wasn't that song also cut by someone before you it was it yeah. had like a little bit of success before it was put behind your gorgeous face yeah no, no not i wouldn't say it had any success but it was written and recorded by the script yeah 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 um and so they they ha- it was like on a b-side or something and so i don't know if it had much success but um it was the very first song that the label and management and, and stuff they showed me right after the show. They were like, mm. we think this should be your first single. And it was the only one that I didn't fight about. What I was, was like, yep. What's it like to have a hit song? Oh, man. And do, I guess my my real question is, do you ever hate it? Like that you have a oh. song that people go, oh, Chris Allen, live like you're dying. Um, I, so I don't think that this, like having a hit song, 
especially the way that that song became a hit, I don't have any like like uh, bad memories of. We worked it really, really hard. And so it wasn't like a shoot to the top, like this is a, and then it was too much. Like it, it never became, I think, too much for people. And it's still just like around and it still happens. And I don't ever like feel weird about playing it for people. Mm. It's always nice when people song. know your song. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, is it a song I would write today? Absolutely not. But that doesn't mean that it's, but I'm very, very grateful for it. And it's it's fun. It's super fun. It's very fun. Yeah. In, you, everything you do sounds great. See, I'm, I'm trying to boost <laughs> you back up now that taking you down a bit. What if I have to go to the bathroom? Do you need to? <laughs> yeah. We got to hold it. We got, we got three more hours of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We can take a pee break. Is that a pee? Is is a pee break okay? Let's cut. Let's cut to uh, our sponsors. Okay. I'll Ladies be right Chris back. Allen is going to urinate. Thank you guys so much for watching so far today. We are sponsored by Caleb Lee Hutchinson, my, myself. Go to Caleb Lee Hutchinson uh, dot com uh, for tour dates, merchandise, all news related to me. You can follow me on uh, social media. At, at Caleb Lee Music um, on on everything. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just received some concerning news, <laughs> and I would like to do an official plea on your part. Um, Listen, man. It's Chris Allen deal. exists on Instagram, and I assume other social medias is Chris underscore Allen. Uh, just on Instagram. What's your Twitter? Do you, do it's you, Chris Allen. Just, oh, cool. I've, so the only platform where you do not own Chris Allen. Yeah. No spaces, no no nothing fancy. Yeah. Is Instagram. Yeah. Listen, C- Crystal Allen. <laughs> that is her name I with a K. Want, I don't want all my dozens of fans to message her, so please don't message her. Yeah, please don't her. message her. Um, she's a really, she's super nice. Oh, yeah, she seems very nice. Well, uh, Chris Allen, Crystal Allen, if you're watching uh, and you're willing to uh, change no, your Instagram. I don't even want it. I will pay. What I will do this. What are you going to pay? I have $40. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um and I will promote something on on the podcast. Think of everything, all the money you could make. Yeah. You know, Ooh, this sounds like a deal she can't refuse. Do you have, your Instagram's really lovely. Um Thanks, man. I don't know what that means. Here's my most important question. What prompted the hair growth for you? Ooh. Uh so I'd always thought about having long hair. Um but I was always too chicken to do it. Yeah. And then the pandemic happened and it just was like. A good well, time to do it. Yeah. Felt like a good time to do it. And you're. Because it gets to that space. I don't have good hair to like have that medium mm. length where it's like, you know, curly or something like that. Yeah. So I just had to go past all of the and did, bad phases. Did you have immediate support from your lovely wife or was she. Ooh. What was, what was her feeling when you started to change up your look? I think now she would tell you that she doesn't want me to cut it. Um, but I think at the moment it was kind of like a, hey, if I don't say anything, she maybe won't. he'll cut it. She'll be like, hey, your hair looks bad today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, see, I'm thankful that my my woman. She told you to cut yours. Every single time. She, she, That's I recently, real love is what it I is. I recently had, well, yeah, it's honest love. Yeah, it's, yeah. hey, I just want you to know that people are talking. What and are they saying, though? They're saying... Where's the clippers? You got I, a good head of hair. Thank you very much. Uh, shout out to my dad. Um, why wouldn't you? Why can't you grow it out? What I were have, you trying to do with it? Here's the thing. I had. Uh, do you want to grow it out? I did at a time, Chris. Do you want to right now? No. Do I need to talk to Maddie? No, no, no. I think now. I now I kind of don't want to. What happened with me was a bunch of people on Facebook, and when I say a bunch, I mean like eight people. Yeah, yeah. Would message me relentlessly every single day uh, during the pandemic. Um, Why haven't you cut your hair? Barbershops are open. Oh, blah, people blah, blah. would say the same thing to me. Yeah, people and, still say the same thing to me. Yeah, why do people care? It's, so you, the you the freaks. thing the thing is is that people are, you know, you were on a TV show and they love they fell in love with that particular. They version. love to to like put people in like little snow globes, and think that people can't change. Yeah, and people change. That actually, we did get a question. Uh, will you agree? To have Caleb trim your hair, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. It is really long right now. I but could probably trim it. Only one hair related question. I say let it go. I say let the beard go too. Well, that's if I'm no, that's not gonna go happen. Go full Duck Dynasty. Dude. 
Um, I'm gonna read off a few questions I okay. got from Instagram. Okay. And if you you can you can pass uh, anything you pass on, will I'll I'll clip out. Okay. Or I'll leave it in to expose that you <laughs> are not nice. And um, first question. Yeah. How did you get so handsome? <laughs> it's not a real question. It's a real question. <laughs> I don't. Uh, th- shout out to my mom and dad, I guess. For sure, dude. Definitely shout out to. They're good-looking people. Thank you guys for the privilege of of making this. Yes. I can't believe I exist in the same time period. <laughs> kind of. All right. Here's my favorite one. What do you think of Caleb? Hmm. D- honestly. Yeah. I think that Caleb. Are we talking about <laughs> Caleb Johnson? <laughs> yeah. What do you think of <laughs> Caleb Johnson? Do only winners exist in your eyes? Yes, true. Okay. That's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, are you? Uh, we're talking about you. I'm guessing. I would uh, the Caleb that is you. You can uh, pick any Caleb you want. I guess. I don't even know any of the Caleb's. The Bible. <laughs> I haven't read that. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pray for Chris. Yeah, pray for me. Um, so I would say that you have always impressed me as a guitar player. Um. And as a singer, I don't. I mean, I I did watch all season, but I didn't watch a lot of it. I just Thank wanted God. to know all of the, like, I wanted to know the personalities that I was getting on a bus with. Um, your voice is, is, and I'm sure you hear this all the time because I feel like I do too. Like your voice is way better in person than it is on TV. Like your voice was meant to feel not. That sounded weird, but. It was meant feel to it. feel, not hear it. Like yeah. there's a there's a depth to to what you have to offer, and dude, your songwriting is for the age that you are, and like, like I, like you're a great songwriter, dude. Thank you, man. You really are. You're just saying that. No, I promise. Stop. You're a great songwriter. I think you are so aware of what you want to do as an artist that I I wish I would have had that at your age. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I only have nice things to say about Caleb. Can you just can you say one mean joking thing? Mm. <laughs> can you look me directly <laughs> and tell me? Nah, yeah, tell me. Tell I don't me, have anything. You don't have any, any critique thing you don't like about me? No. No, come on. I don't have anything, dude. Okay. I really don't. I guess we'll. we'll I really like you. I wouldn't be here if I didn't really like you. I was surprised that you agreed to do it. Yeah, me too. Um. Okay, we got it. We got a couple more. <laughs> this one kind of ties into it. I heard Caleb Lee Hutchinson is just a total diva in real life. What's your worst horror story? That's not true. That's not a real question. <laughs> what if you? If you Why could, would who would say that? Oh, dude, the 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 Paps. Yeah, dude, I bet sure. they really they're outside, heard that. They're outside every day, and they're like, "We know what you did to Chris." But Allen. why would somebody say that? Um, who said that? Who is this? This <laughs> say the name. Uh, I th- I think it was a joke. Okay, good. Because I'm an angel. Yeah, no one's not, ever said anything you're like, about me. <laughs> you're the like, you were so low. Yeah, yeah. Maintenance. Yeah, for sure. I just, I don't even. I'm just like, I'm just a plant, dude. I just sit and <laughs> photosynthesize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a here's another great one. What is your favorite music themed movie of all time? Oh, music themed movie. Does that mean a musical? Did you see th- my th- face when th- you said that? I think it could be musical or like maybe like a biopic about mm. music or a band or something. Or anything Grease, like yeah. No. But so I'm not a musical fan. Like and I feel like people are, are always weirded out by that. But I just I can't get into it. Like the yeah. the s- out of nowhere bursting into song thing. You don't do that? I don't. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm too literal of a person, but like I just it doesn't make sense to me, and I'm like, really? See, I do it in real life, so I get it. I believe the that. The other you... day at the store, my card was declined. <laughs> Where will I go? But I, I think you do like musicals, right? No. You don't like musicals? I don't have a feeling about musicals, okay. to be honest. Well, I do, apparently. I, I mean, Listen, if Lin-Manuel Miranda was like, Chris, we want you to be <laughs> in this thing, I'd probably be like, all right, dog. I well, love everything you do. One thing we've learned about Chris Allen is he'll do anything for money. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> anything at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I don't know. As far as... Oh, you know how many biopics that you've seen? Did you see Rocket Man? No, I didn't see Rocket Man. Did you see the Bohemian Rhapsody, the Queen one? I did. I didn't love it. I it, loved it. That's... <laughs> okay. I love Queen. I thought... I did too. I love Queen. And I... 
I thought it was good, and I thought he did a pretty good job, but I I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Sorry. Wow, thanks for did all I the, tell you that I, the exciting answers, yeah, Chris. Did I t- so I will give you an exciting answer. Okay. Did I tell you that I tried out for a, a musical movie? No. What was it? Rock of Ages. No way. So didn't like Russell Brand in that? Yeah, thinking. Russell Brand was in it. Tom yeah. Cruise was in that. Snap. Yeah, Juliana, Julianne Huff. Oh, wow. I don't yeah, know her. <laughs> I don't know Mrs. her. Name. There, dude. So, but I had a an agent at the time, and they were like, "Chris, we'd love for you to try out for this film." And I'm like, "I don't act. This is the worst idea in the world." And so I went, and I I kind of like I was like, "Whatever, I'll just do it." So I did it, and it went so bad mm. they were like your singing is fine <laughs> and that but was your, that was acting. literally all they said what, and, do you remember your, what your lines what you read or no like not at all i've tried to put it Can out pull up a script would you like to do it with <laughs> no the only thing that i remember is walking out and the there was a guy that just looked very la mm. and he walked right in and he had like great curly hair and he had like this shirt that was down his show and it's like yeah, yeah. You know, chest hair. Russell Brand was in the lobby. It wasn't Russell Brand. I would have uh, knew who that was. But they gave the part to that guy. Uh, to the very next guy that was auditioning. I was so bad that they were like, whoever is next. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, our new he's qualifications gonna the part. are not Chris Allen. <laughs> yeah, whatever is not that, yeah, we yeah. want that. Uh, when are you and Caleb going to collaborate or tour together? Ooh. I don't think you would tour with me. I don't think you would tour with me. But I think we could. I, mm. Honestly, though, I think. Interesting. We could. We could. I feel like we'd make something cool. We had this conversation. In I think we could. I think we could, we could make music together. Yeah. I don't think we would tour together, though. We could. Oh, we could have, I think what, you were too. An American Idol tour. No, I think you're too. I think you're too cool for me. BS. I'm I serious. Think, I think you would expect to tour with someone who draws an audience. <laughs> and I don't. That's not my forte. I think it's really cool to not. One of my favorite things to do is not make money. It's kind of part of my artistic path. Dude, you made me laugh so hard. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, this question comes from uh, Matty Poppy. Does he need a babysitter? Yes, all the time. We always need babysitters. And we're always looking for you know couple babysitters, too. Uh, great. Well, we'll be there. Yeah, good. I know you've used other couples in the past. <laughs> for babysitters? I just want to say, and I'll tell the world, uh, Gabby and Kay have they been to your to house. house. They came Guess to who house. hasn't been to your house? You guys. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really need to ask who's your favorite <laughs> TV couple. Jeez Louise. Whatever. Fine. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> you really are just There's upset a, about that. No, it's fine, Chris. It's We're good. We're going to make it happen. Because. I've just been looking for the right time. Okay. How about um, Wednesday? <laughs> Dude, all right. Uh, also, you have a, a fan account? I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't believe you have one. But this is this is for the Chris Allen fans out there, all three of you guys. This is, um, which is three more than me, by the way. It's, <laughs> it's not okay. an insult. It's okay. This is a self-deprecating podcast. Okay. We just, everyone comes here to feel bad. All two of my guests have felt miserable, just yeah, like you're feeling. That's what... You know. When will he be back on Patreon lenses? We miss him. What's Patreon lenses? I don't know. So do about you know? It. You know what Patreon is? Yeah. So lenses is like kind of like a story version of that. Um, oh, it's like an Instagram. It's like a sto- story. Yeah, it's like thing. Instagram story thing. Yeah, and I usually cool. I'll usually once a week do a really long version of that mm-hmm. and try to say a bunch of stupid stuff well apparently you need to do it again i know it's been quickly. it's been a couple of weeks since i've been since i've done it so fans miss you yeah um here's one of my favorite questions uh from miss kelly who i went to church with as a child okay um if caleb if caleb asked you to live in your basement would you let him in my basement yeah if caleb if you asked if me caleb, to live in your basement if caleb asked to live in your basement asked to live in my basement yeah sorry so we actually are trying to finish our basement out well, let's say you finished it what and if it, I said, right now i would in. not let you live in it why it would be bad that's fine it's gross you've seen the place i stay in this is way better than ours. this dump this is like you can actually walk in this um, you can't walk in ours yeah yeah all right just a couple more questions um 
Some of these are like so. Uh, you got a lot. I did. I got quite That's a few. lot. Yeah, the, the people want to know. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. This is there's a there's a few. Um. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I'll let you guess who it's from. Okay. I got a couple. Who do you think you are, and how do you sleep at night? Oh I'll give gosh. you a hint. It's from a David, and it's not Archuleta. Who do you, who who do I think I am? Who do you think you are? And how do I sleep? And at then night? how do you sleep at night? Mm. Uh, those are great questions. Honestly, yeah. kind of my questions too. I can't answer either one of those. He's Chris Allen, and he sleeps like a baby. David Cook. Those are both true, actually. David Thank you, Cook. David. Thank you David, for, David actually knows that I sleep really well. <laughs> thank you for your question. What, do you guys camp or something? We've been on tour together. Because uh, with no context, that's like a really That's weird. true. <laughs> oh, da- let me tell you something. David knows. David knows how well I sleep. I am a snuggle bug, let me tell you. <laughs> I'd snuggle with David. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, David. yeah. David, if you're watching this, come <laughs> come to the couch, <laughs> brother. He's definitely watching. He's watching right now. <laughs> He's somehow watching. Um... All right, and then these are, I guess I'll do an American Idol question. <laughs> Don't do that. You can uh, ask one. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love American Idol. Um, <laughs> if you were to be on. They're not paying you anymore. It's okay. That's you true. Can, you can do, say whatever Honestly, like. they never liked me. I'm <laughs> just going to say true. it. That's not true. I am, I feel, I am Maddie Poppy's boyfriend. That's they forgot not true. my name four years ago. <laughs> was that literally when it was four years? It's been four seasons. Yeah. That I think yesterday I was, was talking. I was talking with Katie yesterday about like the tour or something like that because you know we're gonna do this today, and she was and I was like, yeah, it was like a like two years ago, and she goes, no, it was like four years ago. Yeah, dude, like, it was I'm twenty so twenty eighteen. I know that's insane. I uh, I just graduated high school. Man. Um, mm. so they said if you were just to be on American in. Idol, but let's say let's say there was a uh, an Idol All Star show. Oh gosh, it happens. They want all the winners to fight to the death. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you were to be Don't on that again, yet. what song would you cover? It has to be a cover because you can't, you know. Uh, "Lover," you should have come over by Jeff Buckley. Okay, there you go. Thanks there for you me. go. Way to answer a question in not twenty paragraphs this time. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> All right, and then this is the last question that we'll do from the fans. What did Chris first sing publicly on stage as a soloist, mm. and do you remember how you felt about it? Me, you're at, they're asking you or me? You. What? What? I, how did I feel about it? What's the first <laughs> song that you sang publicly solo as a soloist? Oh gosh! And do you remember how you felt about it? It was probably at church, and I'm sure it was like a DC Talk song. Um. And I think me, well, I actually think me and my dad and my brother sang mm. a song at church. And it was like an old missionary Baptist church where we all had different colored mics. And it's just like some Red Book hymnal type stuff. <laughs> it was, but it, we were singing, we were like the rebels that were singing the DC Talk song. Mm. Um, well, let's, I guess let's talk about, because um, I think by the time this is out, it will have already aired. We were just on oh, uh, yeah, American yeah. Idol's 20-year reunion. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this question, mm-hmm. and feel free to um, be political about this and, and skate <laughs> around it. Do you ever get, as someone who has been, I know there was a time period after I was on American Idol where I got so tired of people asking me about it. Do 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 you ever get over that, or do you wince every single time someone asks you about it? Um, It's a good question. I feel like... I don't really know what to tell people that is going to interest them because I feel like my answers are always pretty boring because mm. the, cause the questions they're asking are usually not, they don't know what to ask. Mm. So they're usually like, so how was that? Oh, that's my favorite. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I don't, the only way that I can answer that is like, it was pretty cool. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to talk to me uh, for hours and hours and ask me like, questions inside of that question that's fine but if someone's just gonna ask you weren't you that guy right. on that show so you're if, and then like yeah well how was that and i'm like so you would, honestly it's great you would prefer like on uh, on episode three when you sang this song well, no i'm not saying pre- that would you prefer specifics then no because i i don't i'm i'm not saying that i would i just feel like that people want maybe an interesting answer 
they want me to say something bad. Mm. They want me to say like, oh man, it was Illuminati. tough. Yeah, or like the show was Simon is rigged, me. or so I think they're looking for stuff like that. Yeah, and because they always talk about the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows about this like ghost contract that I signed. Yep. And I have to tell them like, hey, this is actually a pretty decent contract. Chris actually has four children. They just took the firstborn. <laughs> they did. Yeah. It's part of the contract. And I like I have less blood, mm. or at least different blood. Mm -hmm. I had to give up my own blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full yeah. blood transfusion. Yeah, that's a cool party though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, man. So it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated question to where I feel like I wish, if people want to know more, I'm happy to tell them more. But it just running into somebody at a store or something like that, and they're like, mm -hmm. "Hey, aren't you that guy?" Because it's not like <laughs> they don't, usually don't know my name. <laughs> they're just like aren't David Archuleta. You, aren't you that one guy from that one show? Literally, someone said that yesterday. It's like, weren't you on a TV show? And I was like, Shark yes. Tank. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever do you ever give them fake answers? Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like I used to do that more than I do now. You're like, oh yeah, I was on Top Chef. I never, I never Kitchen. say that. I don't think I ever say people. You know, people have mistaken me for other people that are, or called me a different name, mm. and I usually won't tell them something different. Yeah. People have called me David Archuleta. I've been like That's a compliment. Yeah, he's a, amazing. Yeah. Super what? handsome guy. Yeah. He's people, angelic. People don't ever think I'm someone that's a compliment. You know what I mean? What? No one's ever like Tom Hanks? Or like <laughs> someone hot like that. It's always it's always some ugly. <laughs> Tom, Tom Hanks is handsome, dude. I mean he is, but <laughs> wait, no, he was oh, never mind. Do you know who Tom Hanks is? Yeah. Okay. It's just make it, bro. Just make it sure. <laughs> I think um, if you don't know who Jim Carrey is, uh, I know who Jim Carrey is, dude. <laughs> the Mask, best movie of all time. It is a great movie. The Pet Detective, okay. Yeah, the Pet Detective. Yeah. yeah, Ace Ventura. Ace, <laughs> Ace Ventura. Um, so <clears throat> it's probably aired or about to air, depending on the turnaround time. What What was it like going back to um, the beginning in a way, dude? I'm gonna be honest with you. It was. It was the most anxious that I've been going back. Yeah. And I haven't been back a lot. And maybe you've been back. You've probably been back more than I have. Only when Maddie needs her lap dog. <laughs> um, I'm, dude, I made a piece of cornbread to those people. I don't, they, they, they're like, Scott, no, too fat to be Scotty. What? Oh, what was it? Stop it. Kate, no, no, different one. He was the hare. Stop it, dude. Uh, R.I.P. to the hair. I feel like, yeah, it was just, I've been back other times and it was fine, but this time, maybe it's just been so much time since I've been on the show that uh, I just, I felt weird about the whole thing. Mm. I I was like trying to keep it together. I also felt weird. As a as a loser, it was strange to be there. Um, there it, were other losers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no, there was a few of us, but we were definitely kind of second class citizens. I think. Um, so stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it was good to see everybody. I, I mean, her. Justin Guarini was there. That's true. And he was a loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not a loser. Yeah, he's that the furthest thing from it. Yeah, you. I was talking to Katie about this the other day. Like, no one brings him up when it talks about like successful people from the show. Mm. He's insanely successful. Yeah. A little sweet. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Little sweet, sliding down the bastard. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's Come good on. Stuff. I didn't, dude. Honestly, like I knew that, but I, I wasn't even thinking about it when I met him. I'm such an idiot. I'm sure he would have loved it if I brought that up. I'm sure he would you, have. You do the jingle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, sing it right now, Justin. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm sure, he loves that. Yeah, uh, that's kind of the dream gig. I'd love to be like the face of. Ray Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. No, no one's do asking you? me to do that. When you go back to I don't know, I mean that's like pretty much all new people, right? I mean, no. I, it's been a four years for me, and there's like a lot of the people. <laughs> it's, are new. it's been thirty since I was on. Right. <laughs> so there's definitely some of the same people. Yeah. A lot of the same producers. So Megan, Norm. Shout out to Megan. Patrick. Shout out to Norm. Shout out. Oh, Patrick. I want to get Patrick Katie. on here. You should get Patrick on here. He would be the greatest guest. He wouldn't do it. I bet he would. He wouldn't do it. Hey, I don't think he would. I don't think he likes me enough. What? It's hard to read Patrick. Patrick. I think he really likes you. I didn't think he liked me when I was on the show. But that's like his job. 
He's not supposed to like you. Yeah, he's just supposed to strike fear into your heart. Yeah, and he does a good job of that. He does it well. <laughs> um, but they're like some of the same, like Dave who was handling the guitars, same. Mm-hmm. Um, and even there was a girl that was singing in the band that was on the same season as me. Her name's Felicia. That's crazy. That's yeah. so cool. And then the guy that played guitar was on the tour with us on our idol tour. So there's a lot of the same people. It was weird, man. And I know some of those, like I know Ruben and Jordan and and David and David. Ar- Can I say that? I don't know if David Archuleta. Oh, if he's if it aired. Yeah, if it if it's aired, David Archuleta was on there. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. I I think um I think we wait. Yeah. I, this will. Pro- I mean, it airs, it airs May second. I may even drop it that day. You should. Yeah. Well, I mean, look. Like, what am I gonna? This isn't. <laughs> what else are you gonna? All do? million of my viewers on the first <laughs> day had it ruined. Um, no, I, uh, that's cool, man. That's it great. was weird. No, it was not cool. I was, I know. it was a stressful no, that's time. So cool. That's so cool. That's great. Did How you, did it feel for you? Um, it was strange, man. Yeah. I think, well, cause like, let's be, let's be frank. Like they had me and Maddie. Yeah. We had like our love story and the finale and everything. That was strange. It was just, I mean, that was weird. It was yeah. weird, but I, I love everybody there that's involved. Absolutely. And, I like I joke about Idol and stuff because I joke about everything. It'd be weird if I didn't. If That's I ever how we get through life, I feel like humor is the only way that I could get through it. Correct. Yeah. So I mean, but it was good. I think like I sort of knew what I was signing up for, though. I was like, we're here to be it's a cute. TV show. What was funny is what, when they asked us to do it, I said, Maddie, just so you know, like they want us to come and be cute. Like that's what this is. And right before we go to sing our song, she goes, "By the way, if you like, touch me." Or try to do any of that cutesy stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna dump you on the spot. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, because I'm, you know, I'm. If if me and Chris Allen are singing a duet, we're holding hands by the end of it. Oh yeah, you know? fingers in twine, in lock, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. None of like none of that like church prayer hands. Uh-uh. The real. Nope. And um, so at the end of it, like I didn't touch her, and I. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, but at the like we finished the song, and I felt really good about it, so uh-huh. I fist bumped her. Oh. Cause that's something we would do. That's good. Like we're boys. We're you know me and her. That's my bro. I mean it though. Like cool. I'm, I'm in love with her. You should be. She is beautiful and gorgeous, and I have a deep. I uh, actually believe that you guys are like deeply in love. I'm for sure head over heels in love. But a part of that too is like she's my friend. And that's like, great. So we're not. It's not like we're just you know making out all the time. Like that's you know, what y'all were doing yeah, on the tour though. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that it was fresh. There was. Chris Allen was nearby. There's a lot of we were all worked up, you know. <laughs> um, but no, dude. So what we fist pumped, and at the end of the the thing, you know, they had us come back out to stage to say farewell mm-hmm. to TV for the rest of our lives, <laughs> and, so and and Katy Perry comes up and like hugs us and we're uh-huh. talking, and and I think like the fist bump threw her off. She's like, she was like, are you guys like, together? You? She's like, did you guys fist bump? <laughs> I, said, yeah. I said yeah yeah i'm sure she like i'm sure she fist bumps uh she probably fist bumps orlando, orlando right yeah for sure for sure maybe not though i don't know it just felt natural what about like a chest bump <laughs> <laughs> <Up top. laughs> yeah oh man but yeah um well chris I, i'm not gonna take up any more of your time good because yeah, I know you have a life and family, and I have to sit around and think about all the choices I made up until this point, like I do. You already day. have so many regrets. Me? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh gosh. Do you want to save it for your podcast? <laughs> I don't have one, and I never will. I yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's dive into that next time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Second one. You need to get on. No, I want you to do a podcast. No, you don't. Everybody, if you're watching this, go to at Chris underscore Allen mm-hmm. and let Chris's social media manager know <laughs> <laughs> that you want Chris to do a podcast. I love, dude, your voice. It would be uh, very calm. Yeah. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't listen to your podcast if I was super tired and driving. Yeah, don't listen to it while you're driving. But but if I was like, if I was like anxious at all. In, or just like in traffic. Sh- yeah, just I'm wanting to drive and I'm wanting to like just think and listen and feel calm. Mm. I'm putting on Chris Allen. Okay, but you know not I mean? my music. God no, <laughs> never. That's if that's if I'm if I'm fighting sleep, and I need something yes, to set off so fight true. Or flight signals in my People brain. People have said that. What's happening? <laughs> like Chris, I would love this song to fall asleep to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Chris, I just I want to thank you so much for being here. Yes. I want to thank you for being I'll uh, never come back. An excellent friend to me. Oh man. Um thanks for finally talking to me again. Uh, mm. and thank you for teaching me how many seconds are in a day. That has been your biggest contribution to, to my life. To it, of a lot of people's lives, yeah. If you could just say uh, so that we have it that I'm I was your favorite person on the tour. Oh, um, easy. If you had to list us all in a from importance. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't put me there. We do it off camera. No. Okay, we'll put it in Not the description, guys. So. Not at all. Nope. Um, Chris, for all my millions of viewers that are going to watch this. Yes. Oh, can I ask you one more bonus question? Perfect. Bonus. And we, if you don't like it, we cut it. Okay. But this is, I'll have my editors do it. You have so many people working on this podcast. Here's my question. There's 50 children in a factory <laughs> that work on this podcast. I, I didn't know if they were behind that door. Or that sheet right there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Then keep it out. <laughs> um, here's my question. If you were to front a legendary rock and roll band, oh gosh, what band would you choose? If they called you up and said, hey, this formula's worked. We want you to front a legendary band. This feels leading or something. No, no, no. Um, we love we love Adam Lambert, friend of the show. Yeah, friend, <laughs> friend of the show. <laughs> the show. <laughs> How cool would it be to have Adam on here too? That would the both of us or just him? I think both of the things you just said. <laughs> we'll have one one with him, and then maybe bring like the both of you in. You oh, should, I should have like you a, should get him on here. I should have a winners losers uh, show. <laughs> Me and Maddie will come. And we'll just get the top two every of every every show. Of all the shows, Master Chef, yeah, yeah, get the winner, and, Junior Master Chef, yeah, have those kids like make me eggs. Um, but no, that's that, that is a question I've had. I've I've always thought if if the roles were reversed, hmm. um, what would I do, Adam? What show would or what band? <laughs> what band would you front? I mean, I th- I'm trying to think of ones that would make sense. I would I would either think like Genesis or, um. Like the Eagles. Oh, you'd kill the Eagles, dude. Which I, I mean, I, I've listened to the Eagles my whole life, and Don Henley is like up there. I sang Don Henley while I was on the show, like, so probably the Eagles. Do you do, uh, do you do any Eagles covers now when you play shows? Um, I mean, back in the day, maybe so, but I haven't played them in a long time. I, want you to, I would love to hear you sing uh, "Peaceful, Easy Feeling." Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I feel like you'd kill that. Yeah. Well, guys, Chris Allen, thank you so much for being our guest. We're going to actually wrap it up this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell the camera, whichever camera you'd like, look them square in the eye, that one or that one, and tell them uh, where to find you and what you want from them. Should I tell them my address? Yeah, have them over for supper. I'll tell them. Yep. But I but won't. But not me. Tell <laughs> Everyone but me. <laughs> Uh, I'm on I'm on the socials you got spots. Out, I can't I can't. That's not a real person. Look looking to at camera. you. You're, you're Hi, TV my man. name is Chris, and I am on the grams. <laughs> I don't know, Chris underscore Allen. Ladies is and this, gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about. I'm so bad at this. It's endearing. Is it? I yeah. I, or I, like it's endearing, but then no one finds out about what I'm doing. See, I think if it actually mattered, you could do it. I think that's what Maybe if this so. was real. If the, the, the Grammys wanted you to Maybe do it. So. Like, what's up, guys? My name is Chris Allen. You can find me. At, I would be so good. Yeah. If the Grammys called. She's like, I'm not putting, I'm not sitting on this. Not for this guy. ass couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to say something serious. Guys, Chris Allen, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Caleb. Fist bump. <sighs> now they know we're not really dating. Yeah, well, that's probably good. The Green Couch Podcast. I'm your host, Caleb Lee Hutchinson. Follow me on everything. Ah! Oh, I'll do it for you. Do it. Do it my, my way. You do yours. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Green Couch Podcast. My name, as you already know, and everyone you've ever known has known, is Caleb Lee Hutchinson. You can find me on all social media platforms at Caleb Lee Music. My hit record, Slot Machine Syndrome, is out and available, and the merchandise is available at CalebLeeHutchinson.com. And you can own it today, and you can hold it. You too can be like Chris Allen. Something every day I wake up and I think, how can I be more like Chris Allen today? Mm. Well, let me tell you, you can start by getting a copy of Slot Machine Syndrome by Caleb Lee Hutchinson. Chris Allen is quoted as saying it's the greatest record he has ever listened to in his whole entire life. I honestly give it a good 6 out of 10. So please, listen to it. Thanks for listening to the podcast. 
Thank you, Chris Allen, for being my guest today. Thank you, Caleb, for having me. I look forward to never talking to you again. Yeah, man. And um, I only did this for the perks. Uh, guys, Chris Allen's the greatest pop star in the world. Um, thank you so much. Peace and love. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.